Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Godzilla minus one. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Godzilla minus one face, let's begin with the eyes. So I'm gonna start right up here and I'm just going to begin by making a line that's going to go down and then it's gonna come back up like this. And then I'll do the same thing here. We're just gonna kinda of go down and then bring it back up. Right here, I'm going to make a circle for an eye and then another circle for an eye over here. And then I'm going to put a little pupil right inside of here. Right here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come up and down for the eyebrow. And we'll do the same thing, just kinda of go up and then down. Now, right inside of here, I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna go over and then down. I'm gonna make a little curve here and a little curve here. Make a little line that goes up and then another little line that goes up for the nose. Right here, I'm gonna curve a line that comes down and I'll curve a line that comes down. Then I'm gonna bring this line up and then down and connect it to here. Right here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come out and down and then out and then down. Next, we'll put a few little curved lines on each side. Now, starting right up here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come up and down for a point. Then I'll make a little broken line that comes down here. Then we'll make two little lines that come up here. We'll make a little line that comes over, and then I'll make a line that's gonna come up and then down here, and then up and down here. And then same thing here, same thing here. We'll make another little point here, another one here, and we'll just make some more little lines down, and I'll make another one out here and another one out here. Then we'll just kind of bring this in. Next, I'm gonna bring this line down and in, down and in. I'm gonna curve this line in, and we'll just kind of curve the same thing out and in over here. Now for the teeth, I'm going to make two big fangs right here. And then I'll make some smaller little pointed teeth here. I'm gonna bring this line down, over, and then up. And then we'll put some sharp teeth here. And some more sharp teeth right across here. I'll draw a line that's gonna come down and then up here. And then we'll just make the line down for the tongue. Next, we're gonna make a little line that's gonna curve around here for the lip. The little line's gonna go down and then right up here. And then I'm going to just make some little curvy lines right around here. We'll just kind of curve this in here, put another little spike over here on each side. Next, starting here, I'm going to bring a line that's going to come down and in. And I'll do the same thing here, just kind of down and in. And I'll make another one here, it's just going to go down and then come around here to kind of shape out the neck. Next, right here, I'm going to come down and I'll curve it up for the chest. I'll bring a line down, and I'll do the same thing down and curve it around for the chest. Now, I'm gonna zoom this out and start working on the body. Now, let's continue to work on the body now. So, one of the first things we wanna do is after we have the chest drawn, let's go ahead and draw 
a little line that's just going to come down here. I'm going to bring this around and up. Just kind of show where the torso is. Next, I'm going to make some more of these kind of little broken lines that just come down and they're going to get a little bit smaller as they come down. Now right out here, let's make kind of like a a little bit of a bumpy curved line to start off the shoulder. And then we'll make a little line that comes down. And then a little line that's going to go out for the arm. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down to a point and then up. Make a line that's going to come out here. It's going to come to a point and in. We'll make one here. We'll curve this around to a point and make another one curve to a point. I'm going to bring this over and up for the hand. I want to bring this line over to a point right here. And then I'm going to bring this in. Now let's make the other arm over here. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's going to come down. I'm going to curve this around. I'm going to make this line come down and then we'll make it come out to a point like this. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down and then up from one of the claws. Another one here. We'll leave some space and I'll make a line that's going to come down this way. And then a little claw here that's going to curve around. I'm going to bring this up and in. And then I'm going to curve this over here. Next, I'm going to draw some little lines that are just going to come down here to kind of form the back. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve down for the leg. And I'm going to bring it up. And then I'll draw a couple more little curved lines. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down here to a point and back. I'll make another one here that's going to come down to a point and back. And then we'll make one more that's going to come down here, and then it's going to come up and over. And we're just going to curve this up here. Now for this leg, I'm going to bring this line down and then up here. We'll add a couple of those little kind of wrinkle lines right there. Then I'm going to come down. I'm going to make this come to a point and over. I'm going to make this come down to a point and up. I'll make this one come down to a point and up. I'll make this one come over to a point and then up here. Next, I'm going to bring this line up and over to here. Make a line that comes down and over, down and over, and then over to here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to bring a line that's just going to come out and then over to here. And then I'm going to make the tail come out here. So I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come down. We're going to curve it around and come back. And then let's start working on some of his spikes. So this Godzilla, we're going to start off with some small kind of pointed little spikes like this. And we're only going to put a few in here. We'll just kind of put a few little curved lines down here to show some spikes. And then a few more right around here. Then his spikes are going to get really big. So we're going to start up here and I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down and then up and down and then up here. I'll make another one that's just going to come up and down. And we're going to go up and down here. And we're going to go out and in, out and in, out and in. I'm going to make some more of these kind of big pointed spike shapes all around here. And we're just going to put some more right around here. 
Now I'm going to put some more little spikes here. And I'm just going to put some more little ones right here. Next, I want to come in here and add some of the different details. So starting here on the feet, let's just kind of make some little curve lines with some extra little curves around here. And we'll do the same thing here. And we'll just kind of put some of those extra curves. I'm going to bring some of these extra little lines kind of right up here. And then I'm going to make a bunch of like broken little lines right around here just to show all the different wrinkles on this Godzilla minus one. We'll kind of do that same thing up here. Just lots and lots of little wrinkles all over the place. We'll kind of put some of these around here and some over here as well. We'll make some of these different little curves right up here with some little broken lines coming around here. We'll make some more little broken lines here. And then we're going to make some of these coming right out here on the chest. Make some on the sides here too. We'll kind of make some more of these little lines right around here. And then we'll add some of these curved lines onto each of the claws. And we'll add those extra little lines right around the top of it, about one or two on each one. I'm going to make some more little curved lines right around here on the arms and on the shoulders, coming from kind of like both sides. We'll do the same thing here. And we'll just kind of do the same thing all over. And then we're just going to kind of add some more lines right up here. I'm going to add two little lines here and a couple little lines coming right across the face. And then you can always add a few extra little kind of lines onto the spikes up here, just in some different little spots. Just kind of give it a little more detail and texture. And there you go, there is your drawing of Godzilla minus one in another pose. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.